name is Kat Parra and I am working on my fifth CD called Songbook of the Americas. I'm going to be paying tribute to women composers from across the Americas, from the U.S. all the way down to Chile. I am Murray Lowe and I've been working with Kat for over 10 years as her musical director and this is the first album that I am producing for her. We have some fantastic musicians contributing a lot of different things so we just want to make that gel into a really great CD. I am Raul Ramirez and I'm playing cajon for Cat Parra. And some percussion too. I like Cat's voice and I also like um, always the musicians that she hires to work with. Kat has an adventurous soul as far as the different styles of music and her background. Everything an artist does is the sum of their ex life experiences and what they do. So that's reflected. If the listener has listened to enough music, they can grasp those different flavors of styles and nuances. Hey, Mambo. Hey, Mambo. Go, go, go showcase her voice and her doing her thing and just getting down and this album's gonna be fire it's gonna be that fire for sure One, two, eight, on. my name is Seth Asarno and this is the Bandonian which is a type of concertina much the voice of tango. The great thing about Cat's projects is that they have no boundaries to them. There's no real rules about how we do that com combining, so a lot of it is very new and fresh and that's fun. So this is called the shakuhachi. They say it came from China 2,000 years ago. Uh, it's got five holes in the front, one in the back. This is the root end of the shakuhachi, which means that this was under the ground. Yeah, so there's the shakuhachi. Just like ethnic food, what food isn't ethnic? What music isn't of this world unless we're doing something from outer space? You know, so those titles don't really capture the essence of what it's about. And she just looks for those threads as a vocalist that she can tie those threads together with. A lot of, of personalities and sensibilities of, of music from across the Americas. I wanted to feature some of the amazing women composers from Latin America as well. The music is just beautiful. What the musicians have recorded has surpassed my wildest dreams. The repertoire itself has a number of well-known songs to it, but it's going to sound probably quite different than what happened before, which seems to work for the spirit of the album. I hope you enjoy my new CD, Songbook of the Americas. <laughs>